Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to look at the European Nightcrawlers. Now this is a European Nightcrawlers only bin. These originated from the cocoons that I purchased from Emily the Crazy Worm Lady when she was selling um, worm cocoons on her website. So I've been keeping them going as separate populations from the rest of my compost uh, worm bins uh, since then, which was apparently May of 19, according to the top of my container. So let's take a look and see what they are doing. Looks like a banana sticker. Get that out of here. Right away I can feel that the bottom is pretty wet under here. I had been leaving the lids off to try and reduce the moisture in here. I don't know if the paper bedding or the taller bins just, you know, inherently they don't evaporate as much water. Oops, sorry, worm quick. But the bottom of the bin is, is generally much wetter. So I usually swap it out dig out the bottom a little bit and then put the dryer bedding underneath swap it out so everybody can get some air and so I don't have a mess when I okay we'll have to see where that went later so I think I must have fed down at this end okay I'm getting somewhere here Avocados, avocado shells, tea bag. Takes a couple months for them to become unrecognizable. Looks like the onion wants to grow again. But as you can tell, people say it's a forbidden food, but there's an onion living at the base. Eating on that onion. So, I don't know whose worms are afraid of onions. I mean, you can't feed them just onions, but um, certainly they do fine with a moderate amount of onions. More bananas, another piece of onion. So these are things that take a long time to break down. I'm not finding anything that's fast food, if you will. avocado pit definitely not fast food. I'm going to bury that back up over here. I'm going to give them, um, I'm going to move the side and then I'm going to feed them a piece of melon. And that is fast food. They'll have that gone in a very short order. So I'm going to give them piece of that melon that went bad before we ever got to it. So sad. But it won't go to waste. The worms will love it. And then they will make more dirt so that I can grow more stuff. Alright, let's go look at the other European Nightcrawler bin. Okay, here we are in the short wide European Nightcrawler bin. I'm going to do some fluffing here. Looks like I fed at this far end over here. Got some avocado pits. Avocado shells. Another onion that wants to grow with a bunch of worms all over it. Boop, and another hookup. Interesting. I don't think I've found that in a long time. wasn't really looking, but just keeps popping up. Okay. So they've got onions and shells and pits. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that at the far end over there and then after we look through the bin just a little bit here make sure everything the moisture isn't getting out of hand again. There 
we go. Now I don't feed grit with every feeding. I put it in with my bedding so that I don't forget, because I will. I absolutely will forget to give them grit, and I don't know exactly 100% how important it is uh, to give it however often, but um, I will forget. So I put it in with the bedding, and then I know at the very least that they will have enough if they have enough bedding that still looks like bedding. So fairly good coffee feeding. Pretty good density of worms in here. You can see most of the white paper does not look like white paper anymore. It just looks like mush. But the you know cereal boxes and pizza boxes and stuff that had color on them do tend to last longer in the bin. It will, it will degrade and turn into castings, but it does take a little bit longer than the regular bleached white office paper. Getting some good size worms in there. I've been trying to keep this as a separate population. Um, most of my other bins that I got the worms from Uncle Jim's have blue worms in them. And so I am trying to see what a, a pure strain of bin behaves like. Is it different or is it the same as a mixed species bin? So that is kind of one of my reasons behind making sure that I just have one or the other. At this time I don't plan to sell them or anything. But I do like to just look at the, the comparative behavior of the bins and see do they eat faster, do they prefer certain foods. Um, because you won't necessarily, when you have a, a bin with blues and reds and euros all together, um, they all get very small. You won't see, you know, a good size worm like this. Um, hardly ever. Most of them are very small. You know, they they stay this size. This is just barely adult for a European nightcrawler. But most of them will stay that size if they're in a mixed bin. To my experience, I don't say that I know everything, I'm just saying, in my experience, that's how they stay. All right, well, I'm going to make them another feeding spot back over here. Their label. All right, so they're going to get a piece of melon. I think that's a tea bag. Piece of melon, some tea bag. Now watch, that'll all be sprouted by the time we come back again. All right, guys, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you are not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.